Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, The Artful Colorist. I'm Tessa. I just wanted to say a few things about the kind of the tools that I like to use when I do my coloring. My favorite thing to use is for my blotting paper is the Strathmore Bristol Board Smooth. It's one of my favorite um, to use as a paper or a white background so that it doesn't so it doesn't bleed onto my table. My next thing is also is I like the HP Premium Inkjet paper. It's a 32-pound uh, paper that I like. I use the inkjet because it, and it's smooth. And I also like their Premium Choice laser paper. And it's one of my favorites and I use it when I want to copy my images that I'm coloring onto another type of paper if I'm going to be using an alcohol-based ink. Also, some of the things that I like to use, I started out with Crayolas. The Crayola colored pencils, the 52 set. I like them. I find that they blend really nicely for um, a lower end inexpensive product or art supply. The next thing that I started out with also is the Pentel Art color pens. Um, I don't I, I like these. They're a water-based uh, color marker. They do a really good job, but I found that I didn't like the streakiness or that it also tended to tear up the paper a little bit if you didn't put it on the nice HP paper that I use. Because it tended to actually cause the paper to almost disintegrate. The next thing that I started out started using was the the Sharpies. These are just things that I like to use. I like to use the Sharpies ultra fine markers. And then I also found that in the process of coloring, I started using the Bic Market Mark Market um, ultra fine, and I found them to be fantastic. They are both an alcohol-based marker, and I found that they didn't eat through the paper as much, and you were able to get more of a blending and shading with those markers. And then another product that I started using and that I like are the Spectrum Noir markers. Spectrum Noir markers. They both have on them, they have a bullet tip on them. And they also have a chisel nib on them. Then from the Spectrum Noir markers, I started using Copics. And I found that for me, I really liked the Copic Chow markers because I liked how they weren't so wide with my small hands. I also liked the fact that it comes with, oops, with a brush marker and also a chisel nib. So there's that. And I found that I like these better than the Spectrum Noir because they just, the inks are a little bit nicer and they tend to <sighs> blend better and they're, they're just richer and creamier. And I find that I like that. It's almost like painting instead of drawing or coloring. From working with the Crayola colored pencils, I moved on to the Prismacolor colored pencils, and these are just some of the some of the ones I have. I have a 120 set, and I got that years ago, and then I got another one when I was in college as a graphic design major. I like these ones because they're a soft core lead and they tend to blend very well and you can layer them nicely and they just they just have a rich pigment and if you want you can layer like a or color like I'm coloring back and forth and then if you want to you can take a blending stick and you can blend it out a little bit or almost barn varnish or varnish the colored pencil and kind of give a more sense of just a more unified color in the whatever you're coloring. I also have been using this PH 
or sorry, doctor, the Dr. P.H. Martin's uh, iridescent calligraphy uh, ink. And I have it in their uh, number 11 R copper plate gold. And I love this. It gives you, it gives you this iridescence that you can't get from anything else that I found. I've tried the Sharpie uh, iridescent markers or the silver or their gold uh, Sharpie markers. And I really wasn't satisfied with how the color laid out onto a coloring. I use, when I use the, the Dr. Mark Martin's um, iridescent calligraphy ink, I do use a dip pen. And so when I do, I dip it into the ink and then I, and I color or I outline and then I fill in with little strokes. And I find that this works really well and it's a method that I like. Um, I have the 5, uh, this is a 513 EF, so it's an ultra fine, or extra fine, and then I have the 512, and this is a fine pen, fine tip, or they're calling it an extra fine also on this one. And I like these, I like the fact that they're they're not too stiff, but they're not too th they're not too hard either. They're not a hard line. They're a softer line. So when you push down on the the nib, it actually opens up a little bit, and you can actually get a little bit more broader line, or you can get a very thin line if you want with that. And I usually use that to do more of embellishments or highlights in an image. And then the next thing that I started using is the Sacra Jelly Rolls. And I have their metallic. And then I do have a set of their, their souffle marker, their souffle pens. And there I do have a, a clear uh, one of their um, glitter pens. And then I have I use I always use their white jelly roll pen. And then I have their set of moonlight pens. And they t say that they can be written on black paper. I like them because they're bright and they give a fun pop of color when I'm coloring. And the last and new thing that I'm going to be doing in some upcoming videos is I'm going to be starting to do uh, some more wa some watercolors and I found a really neat product that Sakura makes and it's their core or koi I'm going to be butchering that but it's their koi water color um, pen they call them their watercolor brush markers or their koi coloring brush pens and I have uh, they're a set of 40 and here's the colors that it comes with and uh, sorry not 40 there's 48 colors in the set and I like them they blend very nicely together and they give you you can get this almost this sense of watercolor feel with an easeability and portability of a marker and I did get their clear uh, clear colorless blender and uh, to go with it to be able to blend some and they're all this um, brush tip and that's pretty much the supplies I use and other than uh, just the markers and the Copics I mostly use Copic markers and I've been using these water brush pens and I basically I have a, a large medium and a small and basically what you do is they have a reservoir and you can put water in the I have water in this one and you put water you take this little stopper out and you add your water to here it allows you to have a little bit more easeability and control when you are using a watercolor pen or watercolors you can use them with actual um, pan watercolors or like a paste watercolor my next video is going to be other than my my art supplies that I just kind of went through quite quickly um, is going to be how to pick a palette and how I pick a palette 
Um, nobody has paid me. None of these companies have given me free products to do any reviews for. I'm doing this out of my kindness of my heart to let you guys know what I'm using on the market and what I like to use and what I'm finding and how I like to play around and explore and be a little bit more adventurous in the kind of products I'm using. From taking a water brush a pen and being able to manipulate the ink on a page, taking a Copic or a Spectrum Noir marker that are both, these are both alcohol based and then taking a water based marker and getting a different effect uh, or taking being bold and taking calligraphy ink and actually putting it into a coloring. With that said, it, it's all what you want to do or what you can afford. I mean, understand for me, I'm an art major. I was a graphic design major in college. And for me to have good quality art products is something that I really value. And I think that for me personally, having something that is a little bit step above the basics. For me, I find that it does allow you to be able to do a little bit more techniques. You can get a little bit better shading. You can do that. But also remember, you can take a regular pencil. A number two pencil works just fine to do a coloring. So yeah, this is just basic stuff. Um, I'm gonna be doing more in-depth tutorials and and also some speed colorings in the future and if you want to get any of the stuff that i'm coloring i will leave some links so thank you for tuning in and i will appreciate you guys coming along thank you